I've been focusing a lot on my artwork recently um, and for you know someone like Purple Bricks to approach me looking for a specific piece for the campaign was um, yeah it was, was a bit of an honour really and I decided to go quite abstract and I've kind of interpreted it to be kind of an encouraging message um, for the athletes. My lining and, and the way I paint and things like that is quite um, yeah, it's quite meticulous, so I'm happy with the result. I mean, I was excited before, but just now hearing kind of um, the background to it and, and how, he, how he does this and, and, and what he's thought about when he does it, I'm, I'm really intrigued to, to see the final picture. That's really, really cool. Thank you very much. Fantastic. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it and thinking about what you were saying and just, you know, obviously all the colours and then obviously the flame is like smack bang in there. I took a, a good couple of layers on, on every colour and obviously and um, doing the transparent kind of flame effect as well. Yeah, I just I've just noticed that I just I, I just clocked the name as well. I think that's that's really beautiful as well, shining through. I think that's yeah, really yeah. I think that I chose the name um, you know, as a kind of like um, you know, encouraging reminder um to the athletes to, to kind of almost like shine through in a sense of the situation and I think it's such a cool way to to build atmosphere um, you know, around the Olympics. Kind of send that positive message that the you know the olympics is here and and shows that kind of visual um sign of support all around the all around the country and social media is just such a, a massive presence especially these days and it can it can really be put to good use um in terms of showing support and you know getting together I think with this campaign, it just allows people to to really show the support for those athletes that are going to be going out in, to Tokyo and and again, like I say, more so this year probably than any other Olympics because there's going to be no overseas fans there, so there's going to be no physical presence there. But if everybody can, you know, get behind the athletes and they know that support is back home, then it'll just help massively.